This is about a Bay Belarusian sprinter at the Olympics who says she was taken to the airport against her wishes to board a flight home. Let's go to Laura McQuillan. She has the details for us today. So what's the latest here, Laura? Yeah, just an update in the past few minutes for you, Michael. Uh, Kristina Timonuskaya entered the Polish embassy in Tokyo earlier today, and we've just had an update from a deputy foreign minister for Poland saying that Timonuskaya has applied for a humanitarian visa and plans to leave for Poland in the coming days. You see her there. Uh, she's got that pink red kind of hair entering the embassy earlier today. It's also reported that her husband has gone to Ukraine, so maybe seeking asylum there as well. All of this after what unfolded over the weekend when the 24 year old went uh, to police at Tokyo's airport saying that she had been booked on a flight against her wishes, did not want to go back to Belarus, feared for her safety. You see her there uh, interacting with the police. She spent the night in an airport hotel and now has been taken to the Polish embassy today. But all of this unfolded after she complained on social media that she had been signed up for a relay running event that she had not trained for. And she alleged that too few Belarusian athletes had actually passed doping tests to be able to compete. So she had been put into that event. After she complained, she was pulled from that event, also pulled from her 200 metre race, told to pack her bags that she'd be heading home and she appealed to the International Olympic Committee for help. Overnight, they said that she has told them she feels safe and secure, that they're going to speak with her again today. I want to show you this as well, Michael. This is an application she's filed with Sport's top court, the Court for Arbitration for Sport, asking to be reinstated in the 200 metre event, calling her removal from it by Belarus pure discrimination on political reasons. Now, the IOC did consider uh, banning Belarus from the Games over its treatment of athletes, which is an interesting point to all this. Uh, tell us a bit more about that. That's right, and in the end, they allowed them to compete. This because of the political situation in Belarus, where we have seen opponents of the president, including athletes, jailed or taken off national teams for protesting against his election win. That's Alexander Lukashenko, strongman leader. You see him there uh, with part of the Olympic process going on in Belarus. Now, uh, he has been banned from attending the Olympics himself, as has the head of that country's National Olympic Committee, Lukashenko's son. Yet the athletes have been allowed to compete. And all of this, plus this event that's unfolded in the past couple of days, has put extra pressure on the IOC to help out those athletes from Belarus. Here's what one advocate told us. The fact that the Belarusian authorities are using their political power to send a message to every athlete in Belarus not to speak up um, is, is unacceptable. You can't have athletes competing uh, for a nation that is that doesn't respect human rights, hasn't respected their athletes. Uh, it, it's unsafe, and the IOC needs to take control. So the IOC is saying it is supporting Timonoskaya, uh, but of course now she is safe seeking asylum elsewhere. But you'll recall back in May, Belarusian authorities uh, went to the effort of bringing down, a, rather landing a plane that was traveling through the airspace in order to arrest an activist and a, uh, opposition blogger. So although she's safe for now, it does show that even if you're outside the country, there can be safety concerns ongoing. So this will be one to watch in the coming days, weeks, months, Michael. Okay, Laura, thank you for that. Or Laura McQuillan.